French police began clearing the camp in Paris early on Wednesday. Refugees mainly from Eritrea, Somalia and Sudan left with the few possessions they had. They were taken to shelters around the city. More than 1,500 people had been living in poor conditions with no sanitation and little food. Exhausted, most were relieved to be going. It's been hard here. It's dirty. There's no toilet, no shower to wash in. For more than three days, I haven't had a shower. Sometimes I eat, sometimes I don't. It's like that. This is a never-ending situation. Because of Dublin, Italians have the migrants' fingerprints, but they don't hand out any papers. The migrants end up in the street, they come to France where they apply for asylum, but then they are sent back to Italy, they come back here again and end up in the street. Earlier this month, two migrants drowned in the canal. The incidents highlighted the already desperate situation. The mayor of Paris says she's repeatedly urged the government to help. I think we could have avoided waiting four months to find shelter for these people. The suggestion I made to the state was to build a welcome centre, like the one we used to have at Port de la Chapelle. It's the only option possible if we want to avoid these camps. There have been 35 clearances of camps like this across Paris in the last three years. But this is the first one since the government passed its new immigration law. It says the law will help genuine asylum seekers, but it wants it to crack down on so-called economic migrants. Oui, il y a bien entendu une mise à l'abri. They will be sheltered, but in return, as the government and the president clearly said, they will be checked and their situations will be verified. At the shelters, some migrants rested while French officials checked people's identities. The government hopes its new immigration law will reduce the number of migrants coming to France. But for now, it seems that there is no end to those who arrive, hoping for a better future. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.